I am in the airport parking lot getting ready to pick up my cousin Lauren. Um, but I wanted to update you guys on my trade last night. So I got in my trade at like 6.30 yesterday and I went long two shares. Um, I checked it a few times throughout the middle of the night. I think the most I was down was like 50. The most I was up was like 40. So it didn't do a whole bunch of anything. Um, this morning I looked at it again at like think it was around 9 a.m. and I found a good spot to buy again so I went long two contracts at 6 30 yesterday and then I went long two more contracts at 9 o'clock this morning so I'll show you guys what it's looking like right now and I'll keep you updated with my trade before I show you guys a screenshot of where my trade is at right now I'm just gonna do a little explaining so it makes a little bit of sense um last night I bought two more contracts so I am long six contracts in e-mini gold um i am currently down 250 bucks it is still going sideways and this trade is actually pretty draining it's not making any big moves so i'm not sure how much longer i'll be in this but i'll finally show you guys once i close it sideways there is no move here the only reason I'm staying in this bad boy is because usually when it goes sideways for so long, it does something crazy after this. So, crossing my fingers. Alright, this may possibly be my last update for the trade, the longest trade that I've got going right now. I've probably been in a trade longer before, but it's been a long time. Um, today, it finally made a move. I stayed up pretty late last night trying to watch it, seeing if it was going to make its move last night. It didn't. It made it around like 9 o'clock this morning. It shot up. Not a crazy amount. Not the amount that I was thinking was going to happen. But it shot up. I was up around 900 bucks um, the most today. It's kind of fluctuated between 900 and 700. Um, right now I'm at 700. So... I'm going to stay up tonight. The market for futures actually closes on closes tomorrow at 6 o'clock. So I'm either going to hold this trade through the weekend and then see what happens on Monday. Or something's going to happen again tomorrow and I'm going to close it. I've never held a trade this long. I don't think live at least. So I'm kind of getting the feel for this. But here's a screenshot of my trade. I think I'm also kind of taking a risk with holding this one so long i could give all that back tonight i mean really this market can do whatever the heck it wants it could shoot all the way back down um so i'm probably not gonna get any sleep tonight i'm gonna watch this one pretty hard close i'm gonna watch this pretty close um so wish me luck all right guys i finally closed my trade wow i closed it at 2.30 in the morning last night. I stayed up watching it pretty late. I had anxiety that it was going to, that I was going to have to give all that money back because it was going to just reverse the other way. So I'm sitting up 2.30 in the morning, anxiety. It makes one little baby move up in my favor and I'm like taking it, done. Um, I wake up this morning and it has moved four or five times. So I think the market's just hilarious. Um, but regardless, I'm going to give my brain a break. Trading that long was not fun for me. I don't usually do that. I'm a within-the-day kind of trader. So um, I'm excited for next week. I'm going to look at some charts all weekend, analyze some stuff, see what might happen next week. So, oh, here's my trade. I'll show you.